So the reason for the video today, though, is not to talk about my lovely new car, it's but it's about what it could do for me. So I posted a video a while ago <laughs> on my channel, which was titled, I think, uh, Why You Can't Daily Drive a Ferrari 360. And it's had loads of comment comments because it went a little bit viral. Right. On that video, lots of people, I mean, it's got interesting comments, but one of the things that often comes up is the fact that well you should drive it all the time because women love it okay. and it's a really good way of getting women right. is having a Ferrari so I thought who better to ask whether having a car like this is the ultimate pulling machine because so far it hasn't proved very successful <laughs> it's all about the vibe that you give off I think too I think you need to give out the vibe that you're open to picking women up for them to be interested. What, like, hello? Why are you now, like, roof? I'm available. Roof down. <laughs> roof down. No wedding ring. Arm out the window, you know, bit cocky, like winking, eye winking. Does that work with women? Though? Well, it just la lets us know that you're, you're A twat. you know, deep. <laughs> Well, DTF. We're generalizing quite a lot. I think we're, we're going to we're going to offend some people today. Yeah, well, so we're not going to like what we say. I think I I offend people just by waking up in the morning. So that's fine. I can I can live with that. So the kind of women that you would pick up because you have a Ferrari are just attracted to you because you have a Ferrari. You could be an absolute dick. <laughs> Is it something to do with, like you know? So if you've got a Ferrari, it means obviously you're doing okay for exactly. yourself in theory. Exactly, it's a success. So exactly. people think I'm rich, and you know <laughs> I'm so not rich. <laughs> I've seen. I'm not a rich person at all. Yeah. I just managed to save up a bit of money mm -hmm. and buy myself a nice car. Um, you manage it well. I manage it you very manage well. You manage it very well. Yeah. Is it also just the whole thing of like, it just all sounds really sexist and wrong, but you know, a man who appears to be doing well you know, in terms of just our evolution and the survival of the fittest, do we appear more? If we, we wind, we, does one appear more attractive? If we wind it back, and I, I like this. I love evolution, and I like, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts on it. I like to, to read up about it. We go back to evolution. So, who were the? And you still see it now in in primates and in in the animal kingdom. So, who were the most successful males? Well, they're the biggest males, or they're the males that can, you know, hunt most or you know back in the day it was it was the man who could hunt the the better hunter mm. and that's what someone who has a ferrari is he's a better hunter in general because he is able to you know earn money be successful and therefore buy himself a ferrari but do you think that you know so if if you're less attractive but you've got a car like this, yeah. you can make up for that deficit. In initially, yes. What about so, other deficits? Like small penises. <laughs> there's um, there's women. I mean, there's a lot of women in the world. There's women who just want a provider, and if if you just if that's what you're looking for, just to provide for a woman, mm. then this seat will be easily filled. On that note. Are you going to switch some cameras on I'm for us? We'll put the roof sure down. Still, yeah. I'm going to put the roof down now. Go for a little drive around the port. Show you what all the fuss is about. Oh, it's crotches up against the window. <laughs> so we've had this camera on the outside that he fitted earlier, and he has this thing where he doesn't he doesn't turn them on. He doesn't turn the cameras on. Guess he has the same problem with women too. So the port isn't as busy as it should be. And now that I've just seen that there's a Lamborghini Aventador over there, it's going to detract from what we're trying to achieve now. Uh, it's does fine. Does it matter? No. We open does your... it? Well, no, because you're after the women. Is that an uh, SV? It's a, yeah. It's an SV and it's just beautiful. RS6, RS4, RS4. California. Bloody hell, there's a lot of nice cars down here mm -hmm. today. It would be. Look at that! Ridiculous G500. That's crazy. Look at the size of that thing. It's like taller than me. Is it going to be difficult to like get any women that are interested in this in, in me now? Because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to focus on at the moment. You know, it's like we're not really standing out amongst uh, the crowd. Maybe we need to go to your neck of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Maybe we do because you're literally getting like no women. No, you. I've got some men looking at me, <laughs> but I'm wondering that's because of you. So now you're getting all the attention instead of me. 
I need supposed to increase my credibility. Oh, sorry. It's not helping at the moment. <laughs> Maybe all the women are looking at me and thinking, oh, he's taken, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, I'll have to wait for the next millionaire to join. They're obviously by. just thinking he must have a lot of money. That's it, because look he at must her. Be fucking she, yeah, and be packing. <laughs> you know, because she looks like she likes it. There's literally no single women here at all. There's a lot of women with men. Yeah. Or so they're all spoken for. Just men. Just men. There's a lot of men looking at you. Who walks around in a bikini? No, she looks oh, like she it. she'd be good. Up. No, <laughs> she looks away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating profusely, oh, which now is not going to attract <laughs> anything. <laughs> That's how you do it. And there's no one watching. Where's the ladies? Don't they like that? I was speaking to a girl yesterday at a pool club and she said to me, oh, you sell Ferraris? That's interesting. Where can I find, where do they go so I can go there? And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, I want to like hang out with guys who have Ferraris. And you didn't give her my I number. gave, I showed her a picture. <laughs> and she went, fuck that. And she said... <laughs> I'm not that desperate. <laughs> she said, it's okay, I'll pass. <laughs> I just thought, well, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> well, all of a sudden. All of a sudden. <laughs> right, let's try and get in the front again. So we should explain that normally to go along the front of Banu's... Yes. You need a special card. The card is valid for a year and the price is 1,720 euros. When I was a child, I used to come along here looking at supercars. Yeah, didn't we And all? I showed you my photo. Yes, you did. Um, and here we are driving through. In a 430. She gave you a right day, look. Did you see? Oh, As in, why? like, what a bitch. <laughs> Maybe it's because she fancied you so badly. I know, she Maybe wanted she to be sat there. Maybe she just fancied you and she was like, God damn it, I just wish I was in that car with him. Should we, should we go back? <laughs> Shall I reverse? <laughs> be desperate. like, are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'll kick her out. Sh she's just a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kick her out if I'll needed. I'll put this video on my channel, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. There you go, those two. They were proper checking you out. Who? The two ladies. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. There's a 430 spider. Common as fuck, aren't they? <laughs> no wonder. Fuck this shit. Yeah, Me to upgrade. It's another bloody car. Huh? I've not had some very much interest. Are you trying to dry your back out? <laughs> is that what you're trying to do? Is that what it looks like I'm doing? Yeah. yeah. Is that what you're doing? My back is absolutely soaking. I have a backup cap. Oh, there's a cap! Would you like one? I would love one. Really? Not a white one though. Do I've already do? got white. Do you do any other colours? No. You can have any colour as long as it's white. Well then it's not any colour then, is it? Well, it's, it's like buying a Ferrari. You'd, it'd have to be red. Do you think so? I think to attract the ladies it has to be red. Not has to be, but you have higher chances of attracting the ladies' <laughs> attention Because if you had a yellow Ferrari, yeah. is, that, is that a bit of a no? For me, if you said yellow Ferrari, I would get all nerdy and be like, well, do you know, that is the original colour that Ferraris are meant to be, and they only went red when they're racing, blah, blah. Oh, really? Yeah, the original colour is yellow. Okay. But when they started grouping countries, manufacturers, into colours, so that's where British Racing Green came from, and the Italians got red, so all Italian okay. brands were red. Oh, right. And that's where it started, but Ferraris were initially yellow. Da dang. So what, what have we actually learned today? Or what have I learned today that it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> I, if this was an investment to try and attract women... To try and attract women. Uh, it's not working. No, not the type of woman that you would want to attract or that mm. you deserve to attract, Thank you. I would say. I would be very upset if a woman was with you just because of your Ferrari. I'd be like, back off, bitch. Yeah. Go and find yourself an actual millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Not a plastic one. <laughs> I think what we should do is we should do another video with you driving around in this car. Mm -hmm. And just see. And see what happens. So we'll do the port again. Do the port again, but you on your own. And I will be like a weirdo filming you from behind. <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Yeah. We have learned that having a Ferrari doesn't really help you get women. 
If you're not giving off the vibe. If you're not giving off the vibe. Yeah. Anyway, cool. thanks for tuning in once again. See you soon. Bye.